हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ पूजा एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल नॉलेज जस्ट लाइक मी सो फ्रेंड्स बेस्ड ऑन द सैम्पल क्वेश्चन पेपर वी आर डूइंग फॉर एम पेपर वन टुडे वी विल बी डूइंग द मैथ्स क्वेश्चन पेपर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द मैथ्स क्वेश्चन पेपर फॉर पेपर वन थर्टी मार्क्स सो वी विल बी डूइंग द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर इज वन जीरो फाइव इफ वन नंबर इज माइनस सेवन द अदर नंबर इज सो फ्रेंड्स वी कैन डू दिस बाई टेकिंग द ऑप्शन एक्स सो वी विल सपोज द अदर नंबर टू बी एक्स सो एक्स इंटू माइनस सेवन इज इक्वल टू वन जीरो फाइव ओके वेन यू सॉल्व दिस फ्रेंड्स सो योर आंसर विल बी आंसर नंबर बी ओके सो द आंसर फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी वन इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी one method of doing this is friends you just see the sign minus minus it would be plus okay so the answer is coming as plus 105 okay so all the positive answer that is a and d gets eliminated so when you multiply minus 7 into minus 15 you will get the answer 105 coming to question number 62 what Which of the following pair of number are four prime numbers? Okay, friends. So the option are given. Four options are given. That is fifty two and eighty one, thirteen and thirty nine, twenty six and thirty four, fifty four and twenty seven. So friends, co prime numbers are two numbers having only one as a common factor are called co prime numbers. Example four and fifteen are co prime numbers. Okay. so friends so friends when you do when you find the factor of this a is the answer four prime numbers okay coming to question number 63 a housewife need mathematics for looking looking after the household activities this statement reflects which of the following teaching learning in mathematics A you you utilitarian value disciplinary value C social value and D in cultural value. So friends, a housewife needs mathematics for looking after her household activities. This statement reflects which value? So the answer for sixty three is friends A. A. Okay, utility. It's a utility. Answer for sixty six. Okay, I missed a question. Sorry. Answer for sixty four. Question for sixty four. The HCF of three number is thirteen, ninety one, and seven one hundred and seventeen. Is the HCF? We have to find the HCF. Friends, so where so we do the HCF? After doing uh, the HCF, the answer is coming. Answer B. That is one forty four. Now coming to question number sixty four. Sixty four we have done. Okay, sixty five. A housewife. Uh, so the answer is A. Utility value. Okay. Okay. Now coming to answer number. So. Sixty-six, developing speed, precision, brevity, accuracy, and neatness in a uh, compute computation and calculation in mathematics reflects a knowledge objective, b skill objective, c application objective, and d interest objective. So answer for sixty-six is friends b skill objective. Coming to question number sixty-seven, children in a class may be asked to 
construct few triangles of any shape or shape uh, shape or size then they are asked to measure the and sum up the angles in each case they may find that the sum is the same in all angles this may be led to the conclusion that the sum of all three angles of triangle is 180 degree the method is known as an analytics and synthetic method laboratory method playway method or inducive method so answer for friend 67 is c moving to question number 68 which of the following method is child centered method lecture method inductive method diffusive method or analytical systematic method okay so answer for 68 is friends d now coming to question number 69 according to ncf that is national curriculum framework 2005 higher aim of teaching mathematics means a developing good uh, good numerical skills and ability for students to enable b to enable to produce employable adult c to be able to uh, contribute to economic development of one's country d develop the inner resource for growing one child so friends the answer for so answer for according to the ncf higher aim of teaching mathematics is see developing the numerical ability it is a narrow approach to enable produ- it is wrong matlab it is also very narrow approach to able to contribute to the economic development of one's country okay developing inner resource friends i feel the answer to be d developing inner resource you know now coming to question number 70 the difference between the place value and face value of 8 in 5832 so the place value of 8 is 800 friends place value of 8 is 800 minus face value is itself 8 so the answer is 792 so the answer is d so the answer for 70 is d friends now coming to question number 71 choose the correct option every rational number is an integer every whole number is an integer every whole number is a rational number every rational number is a fraction okay so answer for 71 is answer number a every rational number is a integer answer for 71 is a now coming to question number 72 it is a equation given 1 by 8 plus 5 by 12 plus to the bracket minus 1 by 9 so when we solve this friends the answer is coming answer number d okay so first of all we will open the bracket friends then we will take the lcm of 8 12 and 9 and when we will solve this the answer is coming 31 by 72 now coming to question number 73 the value of 2 by 3 of 3 by 4 of 18 is okay so 2 by 3 of 3 by 4 of 18 so first of all we will take 3 by 4 of 18 that is coming 27 by 2 now 2 by 3 into 27 by 2 is coming 9 so answer For seventy three is option number A. Now coming to question number seventy four. An auditorium has six hundred seats. One third of the seat are empty. The number of empty seats are. So friends, one third of six hundred is two hundred. Okay. so its answer is answer for 74 is
answer for 74 is 200. Okay. So, 74 is option number C, that is 200. So, 1 by 3 of 600 is 200. It was easy question, friends. Now, coming to question number 75. A, a cable of 227 and a half meter long is cut into equal pieces measuring two third meter each. The number of pieces that can be cut. Okay. So, first of all, Friends, when we will solve this, the answer is so. Answer for question number seventy-five is so. Friends, answer will be answer number A that it can be made ten pieces for seventy-five. It's A. Now coming to a decimal with 9 in the 10th place, 6 in the 100th place and 8th in 1 place, 5 in 10th place is. So when we put it in place, the answer is coming, answer number B. For 76, it's B. 43.800 when converted into fraction. Okay. Now, question number 77. Now, what's the question? So, the answer for 77 is... See friends, one way of doing is you divide and see. So when we divide 219 by 5, we are getting 43.800. So the answer is A. Now coming to question number 78. What should be added to get what should be added to get what should be added to 3.189 to get 7 so friends one way of doing is you subtract and see so when you subtract 3.189 from 7 you will be getting the answer 3.811 so 3.811 is answer 78 it's answer number C now 79 15.73 divided by 10 to the power 4 is equal to 10 to the power 4 is equal to when you will solve it friends 15.73 divided by 10 to the power 4 the answer is coming for 79 it's B that is 0 0.001573 Okay, now coming to question number 80, 3.009 into 78.1 is equal to, okay, so four options are given, so you have to multiply and see friends, so when I did the multiplication, the answer is coming, 235.0029, so the answer for 80 is answer number D. Question number 81. 1 by 20 is equal to. So the friend's answer is 5%. For question number 81, it's D. Question number 82. If 10% of the journey is 72 km, then the length of the whole journey is. So one way of doing is, if 10 take x. So 10% of x is 72. So what will be the 90%? You have to find the 90%. So, after doing the calculation, friends, the answer for question number 82 is 720 kilometers. So, it's 720 kilometers.
कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी थ्री ट्वेल्व परसेंट ऑफ सिक्स ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू सो ट्वेल्व परसेंट ऑफ सिक्स ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू इट्स सेवेंटी फोर पॉइंट फोर्टी सो द आंसर फॉर एट्टी थ्री इज डी आंसर नंबर डी Now coming to question number eighty four. Which of the following sides can form a triangle? Four options are given. A B is equal to seven centimeter. B C is equal to eight centimeter. A C is equal to seven centimeter. A B is equal to four centimeter. B C is equal to two centimeter. A C is equal to one centimeter. C A B is equal to five centimeter. B C is equal to three centimeter. A C is equal to two centimeter. All the above. So the friends, the answer for four is answer number D. Using any, मतलब uh, using the above numbers, from all of them triangles can be formed. Now question number eighty five. The selling price of a sofa set is rupees seven thousand. If it is sold at a loss of twelve point five percent, find the cost price. So friends, for eighty five, twelve point five percent. Okay, we have to find the cost price. For loss, okay. So when we do the calculation using formula, so the so the cost price would be option number C, eight thousand. Please check your answers. Now coming to eighty six, the selling price of a pencil. The selling price of ten pencil is equal to the cost price of eleven pencil. What will the profit percent? So friends, for eighty six, the option is option number C. Coming to question number eighty seven, what is the value of x in the figure and figure? So friends, when you see, the answer can be found out with the help of this only. Here it will be coming. This should be one eighty, right? So if it's one twenty, this is this is sixty. So this angle is sixty. Okay, six three sixty plus this sixty uh, plus this thirty would be ninety. Okay, when you do this ninety, so so one eighty one eighty minus ninety will be ninety. So the value of So the value of x is friends. For question number eighty-seven, it's C. C is ninety. So with the figure only you can get the answer sometimes. You know, the area of a rectangle lawn is two fifty-five meters square. If its length is fifteen meter, then its perimeter is. Okay. So. So first of all, we have to find the area. So length is given. Okay, it's a rectangle lawn. So this is fifteen. This is two fifty-five perimeter. Okay. So putting in the formula for rectangle, rectangle, it's length into breadth. So fifteen into x is equal to area is two fifty. Area is two fifty-five, right? So when we solve it. We will be getting x is seventeen. Okay, so friends, this is fifteen. This is seventeen. Okay. Now perimeter is two l plus b. Okay. Now we will put in the formula two into bracket fifteen plus seventeen. Okay. Two into bracket fifteen plus seventeen for perimeter of a rectangle. So the answer will come sixty four friends. So the answer is for eighty eight. It's C. For answer for eighty eight is C. Now coming to question number eighty nine. A cuboid has a cuboid has friends twelve side. Answer is D. A cuboid have twelve edges. Okay. So the edges of a cuboid are twelve. Now coming to question number ninety. A square sheet of paper has a perimeter of forty centimeter. Then its area is okay. 
so friends it is from square so it's square and the perimeter perimeter is 40 so we will solve this so So when we solve the perimeter using formula, perimeter of a square is 4a. So it will be 10 all the sides. Okay. Now for formula, area of a square is area of a square is side cut square. So 10 square. So answer you can know friends. So the answer for 90 is B. That is 100. Okay. So friend, this was a paper. I have quickly solved it. Do solve it and do comment and let me know how much marks you are scoring. Friends, the question has come from very basic mathematics. And I would say the question paper was very easy. So it's very motivating as to you go solve this and prepare for your exams. Please take a paper and a pen, solve this paper and let me know how much we are making out of 30. So friends, this was my maths paper solved very quickly i have solved it because the paper will become very lengthy hope this is very useful i'll be coming with solved paper for english and hindi also whatever i am able to solve i'm i'm putting it for you as you are preparing your exam friend my suggestion would be take the topics you know the the, the maths paper i was very happy to see the paper paper was very easy do take the topics which has come that is area that is profit and loss um, basic mathematics shapes figures all the topics which has come take the topic and prepare your subjects and if you will be preparing in this way you will crack your exams very easily so the main thing is your core grammar you know your basics should be very clear in in all the subjects as i have seen the paper so i get the, the an idea as to for all this cdp or English or Hindi or Maths or Child Development or EVS also, your basic understanding of the subject should be very clear. So friends, best of luck for your exam. Uh, do take a pen and a paper before giving an exam as to see how much you are getting out of 30. Okay. Best of luck. Keep learning and please like, share and subscribe the channel. Uh, it's very motivating uh, to see so many people get add up and your comments are also valuable. Do comment and let me know about what topic you want uh, a video on please like share and subscribe the channel keep learning thank you